Um, but let's tap into the school system. The school system is at a place right now where it makes me at a point where I don't even want kids. I get scared of it because I see where it is. And my mother, kind of circling back to the paranoia, my mom was the type of mom that taught me everything's a mustard seed. Once you do something, you have to see where it's going to grow, right? You make a decision, but it's going to come with 15 other af like effects that you have to be prepared for. So don't just look at the first decision and just make the first decision, right? So I'm peeling back. The school system and how they're teaching our children about sex or they're teaching our children about certain type of things that should only be discussed in a home. I've thought about this sincerely from both sides. Sincerely from both sides because I'm truly on the side of that's fucking gross. Get out of my face with it. But that I can't. I can't come into a conversation to talk to somebody who believes that that's okay with the attitude of fuck out of my face, right? Their opinion on teaching kids this type of stuff is a faith-based thing. They believe they should be able to do that. If we're not allowed to talk about God, and that's a faith-based thing, I think the thing is if they took prayer out of kids so they could pray on the kids. Mm -hmm. And I don't care who you are. You could be a Christian, you could be a Muslim, you could be a Scientologist. When you're a child, you're an empty vessel. So what you're programming these children to believe is gonna be a substantial thing in their life. If they feel like they need to teach this type of behavior or this type of quality, mm -hmm. I believe we should at least meet them in the middle. Have an after school program where the parents need to sign off on it and the children needs to sign off on it. Cause I can't look at you and be like, no, you're fucking wrong, you're out of here. Because I don't want anybody to do that to my kids when it comes about Christ. Everybody has the ability to choose what they want. Mm. If God came down in the form of human and literally said, you choose what your life is, and he's the almighty God, who am I to tell you, nah, you can't be doing that. Mm -hmm. But it should be something where the parents need to discuss it first, because that is a faith-based thing. I'm not going to children at six years old telling them about Jesus Christ without their parents knowing about it. It's not my right. I'm not teaching them about sex. It's not my right. That is a father and a mother's decision to teach the children that. How do we incorporate this in America for them to understand in a loving way? Because what they're saying is, no, I grew up in the closet. Nobody taught me about this, blah, blah, blah. And I get that that's, that's a hard thing to deal with. I understand, but you can't take that out on our children. What is your basis on trying to fix this? You're a tolerant Christian is what you are. And you're, uh, 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 you're going to go through it when you have kids and you're going to have your moment when you're going to call and you and I will have a conversation and you say, Pat, I'm dealing with this, bro. What do you think? And we'll talk about it. You know, as a father, when you go through it, it's different when you're in it right now. You're doing like one of the things I would talk to my uh, wife about before we even had kids or before we even got married. I'd be laying in bed. I'm like, what if one day my daughter comes up to me and she says this to me? I'm going to tell her this. Then I'm going to tell her this. And she's going to tell <laughs> yes. me this, right? <laughs> okay. So I get that, right? You're kinda, I'm preparing for the I know, conversation. Totally get it. Totally. Get, and you, by the way, you know what's one of the hardest conversations I had to have? How am I going to process my daughter? choosing to have sex before getting married how am i going to handle it do you know how much in my own brain i had to go through that to feel comfortable and get myself in a position to not be so overly paranoid where i cannot enjoy the love i have for my daughters it's very hard for me to go through but i finally got to a point where i'm okay with it well let me go back to you the the lazy christian side look do we know what immoral is do we, do, we, do we have a standard to define what is immorality? Is, is what's immoral whatever you think is immoral? Is that what the definition of immoral is? That we, know, we no longer want to define what is moral and what is immoral. Mm -hmm. we, we no longer want to sit there and say, this behavior is immoral. You can choose to do it, but guess what? That doesn't make it moral. Mm. You're choosing to exercise immoral behavior, no problem. But just so you know, it's still immoral, okay? Yes. No problem. Okay, I don't think we need to uh, cave to this gang that is pushing on us in a certain way where we're afraid because, look, for example, like I watch uh, the, the podcast with... Uh, uh, the first time I, I saw your material and I fell in love with what you were talking about was on the, uh, the Impulsive podcast, right? And, you know, I watch Logan and I watch Jake, okay? These are uh, two household names. Brothers, they're in the top five brothers in the world. Influencers, they're one of those names that you look at, okay? They're one of them. You, you can put 
you know, Tate, Hemsworth, with a bunch of these brothers that we can put in that category, right? And I asked myself, like the other day, some clip was shown and Logan and Jake are going and, you know, Jake has got a black guy. No, Logan's got a black guy and he's holding prime like this and he's saying, uh, what did he say? He says, yeah, if I fight him, I, you took uh, Fury away from me. He said, I'm going to go out and finish Fury. Well, you took Diaz away from me because I would have done this to Diaz. He says, well, what are you talking about? You're not even a boxer. You're this. And then he says, uh, Jake says, I'm a boxer. Who are you? You're an exhibition guy. You don't even win. You just do exhibition.